Hello guys, welcome to my channel Antec. This is Sandeep Kohl here. Hope you all are doing good. Today's video which I am going to take is on you know new uh, BMC uh, CMDB console. We know that people who are working with BMC Remedy like after the flash was uh, you know uh, taken out from the market. So uh, BMC had to uh, you know uh, revamp their CMDB console. Uh, earlier it was uh, embedded into the ITSM system but then uh, afterwards it was taken out because the whole CMDB functionality in, uh, in ITSM was completely built on uh, flash. Then uh, BMC what they did they came up with a new console for CMDB as part of their you know helix migration. So this is what we will see. Today I will explain you how this new console looks like uh, you can see on my screen and how it functions what are the different functions available um, in it uh, the, the functions have not changed it is the same uh, but in a you know uh, new format new look and feel this is what we are going to see today okay let's get started <music> Now as you can see on my screen that this is a totally a different console and it is more inclined towards you know BMC Helix. So this is basically the purpose of uh, BMC to align every application according to the new framework, new uh, UI, new look and feel. Now we can see here uh, when you log in into the system uh, it will you will be provided a new URL for CMDB and then when you log in into the system with the credentials so you will land up on this page this page basically is the uh, you know front end dashboard for cmdb where it will show you uh, the complete health or all or overall <coughs> you know uh, structure of your cmdb so you can see here we have this you know uh, pie charts or these uh, dashboards which are presenting the cmdb data then you have uh, similarly here if you go it will uh, show you the data flow so how the data from how many data sources we are you know uh, pulling the data and then how we are basically importing them normalizing them then doing the reconciliation and then updating the cmdb which is the golden data set so people who are aware with this uh, cmdb process know this but people who do not know uh, let me explain this for them so what cmdb does it imports data from different sources so for example if i click here it will take me to different sources and <coughs> the data is imported from these different sources and then uh, it is you know reconciled and it is pushed to the cmdb golden data set for example you can see here the data is uh, these are different sources from which we are getting the data let me go back okay and then once you receive the data here these are all imported into cmdb then we do the normalization so normalization process is basically where you normalize the data you categorize the data like whether it's a server it's a router it's a switch or any other we will take this normalization as, as a separate process then you do the reconciliation. Reconciliation is an identification mechanism in CMDB where when data is imported from different sources, uh, we might have a duplicate data. For example, a, a server is basically, you know, uh, discovered by one application and uh, similarly the other application also, also uh, you know, identified. So we will have a two instance of the same server in the system. But now in our golden data set, we should al always have a single instance of the infrastructure item. So in that case, what CMDB reconciliation will help us it will identify that it will merge the data for example um, application 1 has identified certain parameters and application 2 has identified certain um, you know um, other parameters then it will merge all the parameters together and create a single instance in this uh, system called golden data set that is how it is it does the reconciliation we will explain this in the detailed videos what but this was just an overview of the basic process in CMDB. Now uh, you can see here this will come from here you can completely 
see how many what is happening in the normalization reconciliation process so ident uh, what is happening in the identification this is all pictorial uh, you know graphs have been presented to you to see the overall flow of your cmdb now if you go to the top there are uh, different sections for example in jobs so you we have these normal uh, reconciliation uh, sorry normalization reconciliation and atrium integrator is also integrated here so we will take them separately because they itself um, they like normalization itself is a process reconciliation itself is a different process so we will take them separately but if i go here just for the you know understanding so you can see here all the normalization can be managed here okay you can see that what is the status of your normalization you can also create a new normalization job here and if you want to you know there are existing jobs you can refresh it from here so this is how you can do in the normalization process similarly if i go here in the uh, reconciliation process the same thing happens you can uh, do a reconciliation of your system and uh, you can you know get to know the status of the reconciliation which is currently happening so you can see here you also can create a new reconciliation job in case you want to reconcile or you need to identify some more data set so currently what is happening is being presented here so this video basically i am going to show you the overview of the whole cmdb look and feel how it looks like i will take detailed videos on you know further uh, processes like class management or reconciliation and then uh, you know identification or normalization so then similarly if i go to atrium integrator it will show me the status of atrium integrator jobs so you can see here currently is in, uh, there are total 78 jobs and out of that i think uh, 77 are pending so nothing is being currently executed so these are all different jobs of uh, atrium engine then uh, he can create a new job here similarly to reconciliation and normalization then for the data sources if you want to you know add a new data source you can do it from here or you can manage your data sources from here you know that data sources are the data sets where you basically keep the data these are all staged in data sets like for example when i am pulling a data from a different source i put it in a staging data set and then the reconciliation normalization happens and afterwards it is moved to the uh, golden data set which is called bmc asset so these are all staging data set sandbox and um, you know dmd some data set bmc ddm so this is the data set which is being you know uh, if you have seen in our um, uh, bmc discovery videos that we are doing a cmdb sync with um, you know remedy so the data from uh, that um, you know discovery is pushed to this data set so this data set manages the, all the data which comes from discovery and then here from here it does uh, we do the reconciliation along with other data sets and then the data is moved to the golden data set so you can manage it here from here you can create a new data source or you can manage it here from here also you can create a new data source you can create a new data set so um a data source means the new uh, source from which you will pull the data this is a data source and data set is the staging table where you will keep the data or the container in cmdb where you will keep the staging data so that's the difference between these two then for the cis if you want to see the cis you can go here and if i go here let's suppose ci updates <laughs> so then uh, you can see here i can see Uh, if there are any updates happening currently in the ci so that i also i can see here similarly uh, if i want to um, uh, you know create a ci that also can be done normally we do not create ci in cmdb it is always pulled from some uh, sources because the data is huge the volume of the data is quite big so we cannot you know go and manually create everything but sometimes there is a need that something is not discovered and we need to create it manually so that also can be done here so i can click on this create ci then i have to select the data set i can select any data set whichever i need and then i can um, you know create for example if i select this bmc ddm then i have to define the class so for example i need to define a computer class so it will give me the it will by default take a name and then in case i want to change it i can change it or i can use my own uh, naming convention and save it then it will create a ci in my cmdb for example sorry it has just gone back <coughs> let me again start it 
okay let me see computer system okay and then let me save this so now I have created a new CI using my console so it will load this in the Explorer and I can see the um, that particular CI so we'll wait for this okay now you can see here I have this is my CI and this is similar to what we have seen in the discovery application modeling console but it is um, in the CMDB itself so this CI is now created so I can again go here click on show, show CI details sorry and then I can go here and here I can get the CI details then I can um, simulate the uh, currently it is a single CI I cannot simulate anything but we can simulate the impact so uh, we will see this in the you know further detailed videos how to define an impact then class management if you need to see the classes of CMDB you need to add a new class you need to modify existing class you know normally what we used to do in the earlier CMDB there are some default classes provided in which the data will be placed uh, which have certain attributes so in CMDB uh, for people who are not familiar so BMC a base element is the base class so this CMDB works similar to what we have in Java and the hierarchy so you have a base element which is the base class and then these are all uh, the uh, you know there are two base classes one is for the CIs which is base element and then for the relationships we have this BMC relationships then uh, what happens every other class is derived out of this class so if we have expand here you can see base element then I have these different classes so these are all derived from base element what they will do they will take uh, you know inheritance from BMC base element so they will have all the attributes parameters from base element and then they will have their own attributes for example uh, if I take this uh, uh, computer system class so it will have attributes from base element and then it will have more component you know parameters related to computer systems uh, for example IP address host name or you know uh, something else similarly other classes will have their own uh, components but here, sorry uh, attributes we can also create a custom class in case uh, you know our the you know the BMC classes are not suffice for our uh, requirement then uh, sometimes we will feel a need to define our own classes so we can create a regular relationship class so this I can uh, we can define a new class and then the data will be you know it is will be uh, used similar to other classes you can push the data to that class place the data in that class and then you can use it so you can define your own classes so this is how you can uh, define it here you can add subclasses here sorry you can add subclasses here this is how it can do it you can define your base element class then you can define your subclasses then uh, for a class if you select some class here I think you will come if you go here you'll be able to see the uh, attributes so here I can uh, you know add attribute I can remove an attribute so that I can do it from here so if I need to take you know change attributes that I can be uh, that can be done here in the new console then permissions you know that we have these uh, permissions that can be defined edited here for class indexes it can be defined here you know indexes are very important in CMDB considering the search criteria we define so that also can be defined here and then more information it is like the um, CI mapping relation normalized relationships currently there isn't anything then applicable relationships so this is the relationship of a particular class so this is not that important okay now uh, class management we have seen we will uh, see sometimes how to create a custom class and how to you know add attributes that we will take in another video but this was just an overview of how you can access it how you can modify add, add and how the CMDB is based you know based on the classes then we have this option configurations so where we have you know different core configurations and you know normalization rules reconciliation rules uh, we have these uh, different identification rules qualification rules precedence groups we'll explain it in detail <coughs> but this is how you can access them from here you can do that then archive manager federation manager like uh, you can uh, manage the federated data here in the federation manager 
then you can define your dashboard parameters schedule then dashboard and data sources completeness so you can change that dashboard also okay core configurations you can define you can change the core configurations if i go here you can define your um, core configurations okay for um, uh, normalization um, like these are all um, settings you can do for your uh, base base configurations for example reconciliation normalization cmdb service atrium um, integrations so you can define them where is the directory path then where the kettle or the uh, this integrator is stored these are the changes you can do these were all options available in the in your uh, system but now it is um, in, in, a, in a different format in a new, different new look and feel now let me go back to the dashboards for example if i search here so now you know dashboard also provides a quick search for the cis so currently it is it has selected this quick search um, here i can select computers and others uh, options then it will only search that so it is uh, currently i'm selecting quick search search ci is bmc computer system let me give it some name uh, let me see if i find anything now it's not giving uh, let me give some host name or let me select all type of attributes or let me select uh, ci name ci id company let me select company okay calibro let's see if we find anything okay there isn't anything related to this data let me select any other attribute okay or let me select all but i think i cannot do search okay well, i think i have got something so this is how you basically search the data in your uh, system for cmdb for the from the dashboard itself this is the on the front end will be able to see the data now let me open one of the cis and showcase you for example this erp application server i will open it will open this in explorer earlier we saw that there was a single <coughs> you know ci because that was an uh, orphan ci we just created it but this one is uh, related to different component so this if you see this erp application server it is related to some components like mh exchange server then uh, you have this other relationships also i can expand um, both children and parent for this server so it will it will be you know it will showcase me the the then i can go in edit mode and i can also edit this so this i can uh, do from here okay so uh, this is how you basically you know access a ci and then how you can define your um, parameters these are options somehow what similar to your sm modeling in uh, you know uh, bmc discovery this is what we have seen so these are the some of the options you have available but this is just an overview of how the new cmdb will look like how you can access different options in cmdb how you can see the dashboard ci's uh, normalization reconciliation precedence how you can define it we will take detailed videos on you know each aspect of uh, cmdb because this is a very key component in um, itsm or itl processes and you know people are not familiar with cmdb and it gets unused in uh, organizations this is what i have seen in the industries people uh, do not understand cmdb but it's a very good uh, you know application uh, considering your infra uh, items so and there can be a key decisions which can be based on the infra and uh, you can take those decisions only if you have the visibility of your infra so cmdb maintains that that uh, it if it is properly managed definitely it gives you benefits it adds a value to your business but it needs to be managed well it needs to be updated on frequent basis to get you a clear picture okay so this is it from my side for this video i'll be taking more videos on uh, cmdb for the detailed information okay thank you